You're at a very different park in Cheshire that is recognised for good safety practices. Um, what does your association recommend then that can stop accidents like this happening? Well, good morning. Um, I think the first thing is that you know we have uh, over 50 million people jumping uh, in trampoline parks around the UK, and it, it is important that. Uh, trampoline park operators uh, start to adhere to the British standard, which was a consensus-based approach to uh, writing a standard that was, had involvement from the Royal Society for the Prevention of Accidents, British Gymnastics, uh, Health and Safety Executive and local authorities as well as constructors and insurers to come together and form a consensus around what's the best way to operate and construct trampoline parks. But the so thing we're is, recommending is, just sorry as the to interrupt you, but we're, 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 time is tight, but the thing is, is that Lisa did everything she was told. She, she jumped in the right way, she landed in the right way, although obviously it was utterly the wrong way because it, it landed her with a terrible injury. So that's the concern, isn't it, that she did everything right and yet still got injured? Yeah, I, you know, and, and I'm not in a position to be able to co comment on that particular injury. Um, but what I can say is that if, if, the new, if, if um, people stick to the new standard, then hopefully that will greatly reduce that risk of something like that happening. Because within that, we talk about uh, a safety briefing and how important that is for the customers to understand. As your previous guest said, you know, it's not like a roller coaster where you sit on it and come off the same, same way you get on. It's very important that people understand the nature of the risk that they're undertaking and stick to the safety rules that people see. So you should be looking for the IATP sticker on the front door and make sure that there's you know, a member of staff on each of the, the, the activities so people are, are being monitored. And also that, that, um, you know, that parents take an engagement and don't just drop them off and disappear. They need to make sure and, 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 and look after and help supervise their children in these parks.